Hello my fellow hackers, welcome to Innovative Mood YouTube channel. In this video, we will be covering a very simple, very beginner friendly, but a very important topic that is uploading files from local machine to the remote server. In this video, we will be uploading a very popular script called as Linpeas that is used for finding any privilege escalation vulnerability or any privilege escalation technique that we can apply on a server to escalate ourselves to the root user okay so there are basically two methods the first one we'll be doing is the scp and the second one uh, we'll be doing a simple http server by making a simple http server there are many other methods too but these two are the most simple and the most used methods so for the scp one you'll be needing uh, you'll be needing the login credentials for the ssh server so for the scp one if you have the login credentials of the ssh you can easily do that so let's dive into the practical part so here as we can see uh, i'm in a machine named as pingu so this pingu is my remote server the innovative gnome machine is my local machine and i have two tabs open and you'll soon know why is that so i am here in the tmp directory and uh, in my innovative gnome i want to upload this then please i want to upload this to the remote server so let's go there go in the directory and here you can see it is the limpies.sh we want to upload it to the remote server so for doing that if we look at the command it is scp path to the lin enum of, or whatever file we want to upload then the ssh credentials and the path where we want to paste that particular file so we'll be doing that so let's do that sp and now we will need to write the location of the file so it here as it is in the directory i currently am so i just need to write linkies.sh and then give the login credentials for me it is pingu at the ip address of the pingu machine wait let me get the ip yes so this is the ip these credentials will be different for you okay remember that and the location where i want to paste is in tmp in the tmp directory that's where we are currently at okay the tmp directory now we'll ask for the password so this is the password for your case this will be different okay so as you can see the linpeas.sh file has been successfully moved from my local machine to the remote server and now if we do a ls you can see it's here linpeas.sh okay so i'll remove it for now you can see it is removed now we'll be uploading the same file linpeas.sh by using the second method that is python http simple http server okay this is also pretty simple let me tell you okay so we just need to write python tag m simple http server and give a port for me i am giving 1337 you can literally give any port but just make sure that port is not being used by any other application in your computer so we'll start the server and now in the second terminal let's check what's the ip address so as you can see my my machine's ip address my local machine's ip address is this we'll copy it and in the browser we'll check and in the port 1337 that's where our python server is running 1337 so 
So as you can see, those files are being hosted by the Python SJTB server. Okay. So as you can see, the, the request is also present there. It's working perfectly. But one thing you need to know is, like for me, in my case, I am using TryHackMe room. There's a room in TryHackMe. I'm using its server. Okay. So if I use this IP, this IP to download that LinPs in the remote server, it will not work because that is my machine's IP. But this, the remote server is can only access my tunnel IP. So this is my tunnel IP. I'll be I'll use this IP. Okay. We'll use the wget command. Or let's let me first show it to you. This is my tunnel IP. Okay. If you're doing anything like uh, try hack me, uh, hack the box, you'll be having this tunnel IP. So as you can see, it is working in the exact same way without any difference. But the only difference is if you are uh, using an the server via an open VPN connection or something like that in that case you'll be using the tunnel IP I just wanted to make this thing clear because it might get confusing if you are new to this so we'll use wget command and then uh, we will wait a second we need this file linpiece.sh I right click and copy link location and then paste it here okay so see this is my IP the tunnel IP this is the port where all the files are hosted and this is that particular file that I need to download and press enter and as you can see this file is successfully downloaded done so thank you so much for watching this was a very 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 basic video for any people you know people who are starting in this field and these kind of small small things get people confused including me I was also confused in my starting days like how do we just you know copy files from a remote remote desktop with the host server and all that stuff thank you so much for watching subscribe if you, if you like the video uh, I'll be uploading many try hack me walkthroughs on my channel very soon take care bye Thank you.